who's ready for some drinking? I know I am. Hey! there how do we the whiskey drinkers overcome writer's block it's something that any musician or any artist in the trade they're, they're gonna come by that sometime sometimes you're just sitting there and you can't think of what to write and you can't think of what to say and you want to write an epic song but you just can't find that you can do it i mean the words that we come by i mean come on who's gonna deny it that's some pretty classic shit right yep. there some would so, say it's from Jesus himself. Well, that's a good possibility. But, it's a whole but that's because we have Jesus in our hearts. That's right. That's Jesus part of it. it. That's right. That's half the battle. So, one of the things that I like to do to overcome when I got writer's block is I like to punch myself in the damn head. <laughs> yep. Because, God damn it, I get mad. That sounds funny, but that's <laughs> true. You well, punch yourself as hard as you can. And it's going to say, hey, man, you need to fucking start uh, thinking. Get your damn shit together. Get your head together. Because sometimes your head's like that jukebox that uh, Arthur Fonzarelli needs to hit mm -hmm. to get it moving. Sometimes, like some old things. Sometimes a good kick, it'll fix the damn near anything. Yeah. I had a CD player. Didn't, it skipped half time. Didn't work. I kicked that thing as hard as I could. Started working. Still works to this day. Tried and true. So what's some other things here that help people with their right well, block? I would say... See, I like to masturbate a whole bunch. He does. I he like to lie there. Because you got to clean them pipes out. You got to you gotta clean them pipes out. So uh, punch yourself in the head, masturbate a whole bunch. It might get you tired, so don't masturbate too much. I prefer to go down to the bar and get myself a little lady. He likes to just sit at home and do his thing. Well, it's easier. That's why we have our own He has sex one time, I have sex 12 times. That's true. That's true. That's I true. Kind of never really thought about and that. And I can write me a song after hmm. that, let me tell you, boy. So, another oh, thing I like to, another thing that helps me with writer's block is um, I light a whole bunch of candles, turn off all the lights, <laughs> right? I know I'm, where he's going with this. And I put, this is going to sound weird to you, but I put on my favorite Barry Manilow album that I don't like to admit I like it, but... If I can't find no berry, I put on Rod Stewart. But you need something that's going to bring you some good vibes. And and pretty much you sit there and uh, you put a fog machine on if you have it so you can get that effervescent mist up in your nose and it'll clear you out. You get the, you get the feeling like you're there. That's true. Sometimes I'll run the tub on hot and I'll just sit in the bathtub and I'll let them fumes go up in my... Well, that steam, that steam from the bathtub and hot water, that's good for you because it clears out your lungs. And that's your, right. And clears your out your head. That's right. Clears out your head, too. When you got that radish block. I pretend like it doesn't bother me that he does that. It's just that he turns the theme music so loud. Ain't him naked. She probably shouldn't be naked. There's probably That's no reason That's why I that. don't go in his room ever. But it's like a sound. I'm jerking off. I'm punching myself in the head. I'm naked. And I'm um, listening to Barry Manilow. But I wish he was lying. <laughs> I, I wish really I was lying didn't. too. But that, that'll usually get, get them wheels turned again. And I can write me a good song. What I like to do, which is completely different from this sick fucker over here, is I go out in the woods. I go out in the woods and I sit there where it's all peaceful and calm. I sit on a log, put my back to a tree. Right and I feel the air. That air. That mother nature right there. Just blowing on my face. Mm. Yep, she'll get you there. Cleans my head right out. Next thing I know, I write a damn hit song. Yep, you get damn natural air professions out in them woods. Oh, buddy. And, and one last thing for you, and this is the most important. What helps us write? Whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey does it every time. Whiskey. If you ever feeling low, have a drink. If you ever feeling like life's just not enough for you, have a drink. That's true. If you ever feeling like you want to go kick somebody's ass? Have a drink. Have a drink. And then go kick their ass. Yep. That's right. That's right. Especially if they're a bunch of ass. That's right. And, um, well, I'll give you the real answer real quick. Cocaine is what makes you write better. I'm going to tell you from experience, this son of a bitch right here has never written anything good when he was Smoke on Smoke comes off my paper when he, I do cocaine. He, I'm just saying. Did he ever read the shit that the you kids. write when you do that cocaine? Well, it is kind of crazy. You should read that shit because uh, it's not that great. Well, yeah, yeah, but... Did you ever notice we never use a song that you wrote on paper? 
That's true. I take that back. Cocaine doesn't help you do nothing. But it makes you feel fun. It makes you feel great, yeah, that's kids. That's right. But don't use it because it's bad for you. It's bad for you. So let's say no to cocaine, and let's say yes to whiskey. Whiskey cures everything. Well, let's see. Yeah. Let's just agree to, to disagree. No, yeah, we're not agreeing to disagree, goddammit. What the hell were we even talking? Writer's Writer's block. block. Yep. Sometimes you just need to have a talk with an old buddy. Sometimes that helps. And it'll get you there. We'll sit there for hours and just talk about nothing. That's true. Well, usually really what happens is he's on the cocaine, and he sits there and talks for hours, and I just about sit there and listen about nothing. I'll tell him. I, yeah, I told him about Lenny Kravitz. His whole first album, I could sit here for hours. Lenny Kravitz, he's a hell of a man, but he don't care about Lenny Kravitz. I heard the story three times on repeat in one night. It's a good story. I don't give a goddamn about any Lenny Kravitz. It's a good story. So, well, whiskey, masturbation. Punching uh, yourself in punching the head. Punching yourself in the head. Having sex with a fine little lady. Yeah, that's right. Being out in the woods. Being out in the woods. Yeah. Um, and b- Sucking up the air professions from a bathtub that's, that's right. on it while you're naked. Yeah, put some bath salts in that bath tub. Yeah, bath tub. not them bath salts that'll make you yeah. eat somebody's face off. Don't be off. snorting or smoking or whatever, shooting, whatever you do with them bath salts. Don't be doing none of that because you be eating somebody's face off in my hand. You pass that you. up and you get yourself some cocaine. That's right. Just like Johnny Cash said, whiskey. You get yourself some whiskey, like Johnny Cash said. That's right.